Sup, it's Hallie. Welcome back to Raiders of Ruin. When we last left off, we were fighting a big old dragon with 100,000 HP. But I'll tell you what, I did some number crunching after looking at how things went in the recording session. And uh, as much damage as these wizards do, there's actually a way they can do more damage. Like, 2600 per turn is a lot, don't get me wrong. But, if they charge up Novas, they actually do more damage over the course of five turns than they would have otherwise. So we're gonna change all these guys to Astromancers. And I'm pretty sure we can get this done before he even hits phase three, as long as we can keep them alive. Uh, I think we're probably fine with all the stuff we already have. I do want to make sure they're specced for doing damage, though, so let me just check that out real quick. Make sure we can't get their damage any higher. That one can go a little higher. Okay, so I guess we'll give you the Stygian Staff, then. Since that's actually going to matter this time. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm assuming that's going to be more even without the focus that he had before. We're not giving him an air weakness, what are we doing? Uh, we need more power. All the power we can give you. Sure, that's fine. What about you? Anything better for you to hold? Looks like the Stygian one breaks even with what you currently have. Alright. You can have that cleansing focus, though. Ah, uh, you already have the Ring of Power, but we have an extra Amulet of Power, don't we? Yeah, I guess that's slightly stronger than what you had, so... Okay. Ew. Oh yeah, that's a big jump. 14? Whoa, 29? Alright, you take that other Stygian one, then. Uh, we do need to hold on to certain things. This provides immunity to fear elements. Um... Yeah, we're not going to need to worry about your regen anymore, so let me get that off of you. You're going to have the Courageous Flask, so you don't have to worry about that. You're going to be the one targeted for that first anyway, so it's just as well. There, you're immune to fear. What do we want you to have instead? Does anything boost your special? Looks like all the good ones have been taken. You get the Ring of Power, I guess. Yeah. You get a ring of power. I don't know if other items... Ooh, some things do. Alright, I'll have to take a look at the hats then. And you're like the last guy. Uh, this is a, generates an item that cures fear. We're still gonna need to deal with some of that at least. Uh, something tells me the thing's going to be better than the champion's cape. Yeah, no. You're fine. My one concern with this approach is that, uh, the trouble is, um, using a Syzygy lowers their health, so I don't know if they'll be in peril of dying from the boss under those circumstances, but I don't think they will. I think we'll take them out quickly enough that it won't actually matter. Start each battle combat temporarily confused. No, we don't want that. Hey, I'm not that desperate for one extra point of magic attack, my guy. Alright. That reminds me to stat the buffs. Yeah, I don't know. So also, are there any other items that are better to give them? Uh, decreases enemy thieves. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, here, hold on. We've got this health potion, but I don't think we're gonna need it. Yeah, we wanna be, we wanna do maximum damage to this guy, so we need that. Uh, we're not going to need that thing. I mean, it might be useful for Halley, I guess. It decreases their attack and magic attack. That's also good to have. Uh, raises defense. Raises attack. I can, the thing is, I can only apply those to one person is the thing. Applying a defense drop to the boss is like powering all of them up, you know? Just cures things. Stores health. Uh, those are all curatives. Hmm, as opposed to the bomb, huh? 
Yeah, keeping his power down is a good thing to do. Oh, this is more magic attack. You know what? Maybe I do want the bombs. <laughs> Generates an enemy cures poison and fear. But the power! I need the power! Alright, hold up. If I didn't need so much power out of these guys, maybe I'd be less concerned. Alright, so... That decreases their attack and magic attack, that raises defense and magic defense. Alright, we want... yeah. That for decreasing their power, and we already got this for decreasing defense and magic defense. You're immune to, you're immune to fear. Um, are we going to need to cure it at least one time? I think we might. Because it's not like he's going to die to all the Novas, it's just gonna like fatally wound him and then we'll be able to finish him off with other stuff ah man <laughs> I think we can forego this one just to make sure we have something that cures fear might as well be poison and fear since we know he uses that too. Alright, see if we can do this. It should only need to offset what I'm doing by exactly one turn. So we're gonna start by having you use Aura of Hope because his magic attack, his first one, is dark. So that'll preserve them from that. You guys... Uh, we can either slam this guy or we can... Um... We should probably just slam him, actually. Because yeah, he's going to have at least one turn to recover a bunch of damage, but we'll do more damage than he's going to be recovering anyway. The thing is, if I went for the charging up right now, the problem would be uh, that they would be unleashing their attacks on the magic turn, which is, I want to leave my defenses up for that. Okay, so next is the physical turn. I can go ahead and lower his magic attack. I'm not worried about the physical damage. You guys can start charging. Every blessed one of you. Charge, 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 charge. See, although this makes them really flirt, bleh, frail. Oh my goodness, he did a ton of damage with that. Way more than I thought he would. That's okay, though. I think we'll be fine. There's a magic attack is all the way down. Anyway, even though it makes them really frail, we're not going to get to the point where we need to worry about him wrecking them, I don't think. And if we do, then I guess I'll just have to rethink what I'm doing, because... Eek. Okay, wait, no, don't magic missile. You need to syzygy one more time. There's the evil eye, but he's immune to the one thing. Okay, now you. Uh, you are not in great shape. Like, really, actually quite bad. I didn't think I was going to need to heal, but I guess I'll have to. Just to make sure I can survive. So we're not seeing anything yet. Uh, they actually need to take a turn to fire some magic missiles so that they will recover enough to do the thing next time. Because with this much AE, they recover 60, so the next time they will be put to full, and that'll give them enough for a Zenith, and then they'll recover the 60 again enough to do the thing. And then we'll just destroy this guy. Hopefully. There he goes. Battle Shadow, Hold Ghost Thing. Okay, you have enough MP that you can intervene a couple times. Is it going to matter if you die on the turn that he does the physicals? I don't think it will, actually. Alright, well, here goes nothing, right? Come 
Kinda just depends on what, who the- Oh no! He killed one of them. That's really bad. Um... We, we might still- well, no, probably not. Uh, just let's just see how much damage. Whoops! I was that was the wrong thing. I was supposed to switch to Aura of Wrath this turn to get the absolute most we could out of Nova. Let's just see how much damage they do anyway. That was really not great. <laughs> I guess we did have his like magic defense way down whenever we did it the other way, but. Yeah, wow, these numbers are not even worthwhile. Ah, oh, man. Well, there goes that idea, then, because it was, like, the whole plan. When we had him do it before, well, his attack was... Or no, our attack was all the way up, and his defense was all the way down, and it was, did, like, 19,000 damage. You know, occasionally clans the most negative effects will only raise its stats by a single stage each time, however, so lowering its stats is still useful. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Ah, oh, man. I can't believe how pitifully low that was. Like, I know I didn't have Aura of Wrath or anything, but good grief. Also, dying to the wind. Like, wow. That was, what, you who died? I... He doesn't even have the lowest magic defense of anyone. Oh wait, yeah, he does. Oh wait, no, his is 30. No, his is better compared to some of these other guys. Oh, jeez. Alright then. So that's not actually going to work at all. Wow, I was like stewing about that all week too. Alright, I guess... Am I better off with someone who can power them up instead, then? Thing is, they also need to be able to lower the boss. I guess I could go with, like, one Chronomancer. But that's not going to make well, the whole difference that we need. Oh, boy. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to figure something out, because <laughs> we've got to get through them somehow, right? Alright, let's let's bring some things that are a little more useful, I guess. Um, no, 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 you, you, equip. I mean, I don't guess... Yeah, let's decrease their power. Having something that will do that is great, but I'm, if I'm just switching the guy back to Chrono Masters, I'm gonna have that anyway. But I guess if I have an item that I can do that with, that I can spare them one turn of casting something else. <sighs> I am so disappointed that that didn't work. <laughs> you have no idea how disappointed I am that that didn't work. <sighs> raises defense, raises attack, magic attack. For one person, it's not going to be worth it. That's magic and curse. That's just magic. That's fear. So there's our fears and debuffs and things. <sighs> what happened to the pharmacy helm? Who has that? Are you not able to use it? Yeah, I guess that's just not a you thing. You can't have that. <sighs> oh, criminy. thing is, we did get close with this approach before. It just wasn't quite enough. <sighs> we still got dunked on later. We weren't doing enough damage was the thing. Like, without a fourth wizard, it's really, really difficult. <sighs> he recovers so often. My goodness, I just... I don't know what to do! We can't overwhelm him, and we can't outlast him either. It's so obnoxious. 
And this guy. Like, he's great for applying regen immediately, but that's like all he's great for. <sighs> Maybe I'm better off with someone else. The regen was so helpful! But I mean, any any elementalist can kind of do that. Kind of. Like, it's just the water mage has the best of it. Hold on. Your skills. Yeah, cause an alert. You, you just have to cast this separately on everyone uh, when you're not that. So, just increase their magic defense. That might be enough, but you could be casting that four times. It's going to be most of your MP. Let's see. You're just like. You get dodginess. That's kind of stupid. You're a more of an offense focused guy, and then there's the Omnimancer who just has what? He only only has like elemental damage. He would have this that does that might do decent damage, I guess. But once again, that's gonna cost him like 40 MP, and that's going to uh. It would be better than him wasting the rest of his turns, I guess, because we had him just, like, punching the guy before. We also might do better off uh, if we have the Dark Aura up, because I only had Aura of Protection before, and I'm pretty sure all of the bosses, like, most of the bosses' damage comes from Darkness. Here, hold on. Yeah, see, he's like... Uh, da -da -da -da. Shadow Smog deals magical dark damage and applies a poison that deals minor dark damage each turn. So, I don't know if the aura also protects against the poison's damage, but that could really help. Like, we might continue recovering even after. Yeah, like, the air and the water are still kind of a problem, but they're not as big of a problem as the dark. It's like, all of his stuff does dark. So much of it. Uh, let's see. 